Hello everyone, how are you all? I wanted to chat today about, it's a little bit self-indulgent I guess, but I wanted to kind of talk about the year that has been and I think we all will find ourselves getting quite reflective uh, at this time of the year and as well as setting ourselves up for next year and you know what we want to achieve and goals and things like that. I think it's also really important to uh, round out the year by reflecting on what's happened um, and looking at how far you've come because that's really important as well. A lot of the times we'll focus on, oh, this year this happened and oh, such and such happened and I can't believe I did this and blah, blah, blah. But what about all the awesome stuff that you've achieved and how far you've grown and all of that kind of stuff? So it's a good idea to sit down and write a bit of a gratitude list about the year as a whole and um, have a think about how far you've come. For me, I set out at the start of this year and I declared that 2013 would be the year of confidence for me. I uh, was pretty lost uh, coming into this year and felt I didn't really know who I was and I wanted to kind of get back in touch with myself and work out who I was um, and like the person that I was. That was really important for me as well. I wanted to discover who I was but also have that you know, loving relationship with myself as well. And I can very proudly and happily say that I have smashed that goal because 2013, as far as, far as personal growth goes, has been epic for me, like monumentally epic. I am leaving this year a very different person to the year, uh, to the person that I began the year as. Um, I just, I'm, I'm, of course I'm still me, but I have, uh, I've just, I can't, I've just grown so much and I'm very, very grateful for this year and the lessons that it's um, given me and what I've, I've learned about myself. I think, um, it's been slowly shedding those layers bit by bit. I've done the work and with the word of the year being confidence, I was always focused on that. I wanted to build my confidence because, let's be honest, at the start of the year it was pretty shot to shit. Um, I wasn't at all happy with who I was and I didn't believe in myself one iota and I didn't think that if I showed people who I was that it would be enough. Um, I thought they'd either laugh in my face or <laughs> run scared and that's not a nice thing <laughs> to think about really. So I really wanted to work on that and I wanted to be comfortable with who I am. And I think that what I've uncovered is the layers that I've uncovered have just been hidden by so many years of you know self-loathing and self-doubt and I completely had to build up who I was um, again and and really nurture that person and nurture Amelia, not Amelia the mum, not Amelia the wife, me. No labels, just me. And I've done that. And it has been quite a fast thing that has happened. It has happened throughout this kind of this whole year. Has It's probably a few things have been building up to it, but it's really um, – gone crazy this year and I really have done really really hard work I've got to know myself again and I mean I've worked out who I am and I've learnt that who I am is okay and it's okay to have a multitude of things that I'm passionate about and it's okay to be a bit quirky and fit in my own box that's I, I don't fit in anything else I fit in for me I'm not trying to squeeze myself in and be something that I'm not because that was tiring and I spent a lot of my life doing that and I don't want to do that anymore. I now live my life the way I would like to live it and that makes me happy. And I think funnily enough, a lot of the things that I've learned this year have been things that my parents taught me when I was little. I knew all this stuff. 
but sometimes I think we have to get a little lost before we can come home again and that's kind of what the past however many years have been is me kind of getting a bit lost on the way and, and finding myself and that's okay because we all uh, have our own way of doing it and that's another thing that this year I've been it's about being okay with your journey and the way that you do things because it doesn't have to fit a mold so I think another thing is that we focus a lot in life about we have to have it all having it all is the big thing but I don't necessarily agree with that I think that if you're living day by day to living to the values that you've set for yourself and being honest with yourself and being you, all of you, then that's pretty good. I think having it all can come from quite a materialistic place and I think having it all is being okay with who you are. That to me is what we all want to aim for. It's just being comfortable and being content and secure in the person that we are and proud of who we are. So the big lessons this year have been I've learned to let go. I've learned to let go of old things that were holding me back um, and that is including my old mindset my, you know, old behaviours, um, people in my life that weren't really there for the right reasons, um, letting go of that and being okay with that and not letting go in that, oh, in a really negative, I am so glad they're out of my life, oh my God, blah, 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 that way of thinking because that's just not healthy and it's not necessary. I am grateful for everything that I've learned. Um, I'm grateful for all the people that have come into my life and that have now left my life. That's that's fine. And it's that letting go and then being okay with letting go. And then the other big lesson, again, is trust and trusting in, um, in what will be. Trust is a huge kind of uh, thing for me and it is actually going to be my word for next year will be trust. Um, but... I'll talk more about that in a sec. Uh, trust was a big one and vulnerability. This was the year that I learnt the true meaning of the word vulnerability, what it meant for me and how to be vulnerable because being vulnerable is probably one of the best gifts you can ever give to yourself and being vulnerable is such an honour that you can bestow on yourself. It's the ultimate act of self-kindness. We get really scared about vulnerability. And I've, I've spoken about this before, but vulnerability is kind of patting yourself on the back and going, you know, you're okay. And you deserve to, you know, show up in the world as the person that you are because who you are is enough. So that, that's kind of the biggest kind of things um I guess the other one again is I learned to love myself this was the year that I truly 100% with total conviction can stand here and say to you that yeah I'm really happy with myself and it actually makes me quite emotional thinking about that because it has taken a long time to get to here and I actually I didn't I didn't expect this um it has taken me a very long time to get here and it has taken so many years of, in my head, negativity that it is incredibly refreshing to be in a place where I am not 24-7 picking at myself. It's freeing. It's liberating. And I wish it for everyone. And I think that's why I do what I do, because I believe that everyone deserves to love themselves. And I believe that everybody deserves to show up in the world and be all of who they are and be okay with that. So that's the big things of my year. They're the kind of huge things that happened and the lessons that I've learned. 
and what I'm now going to build on next year. This year was setting the foundations and then next year is about building on them even more. And as I said, my word is going to be trust. And that is, again, trusting in who I am. I've kind of built up who I am. I know who I am now. And, you know, putting my money on myself, backing myself 100%, trusting that I'm okay. And also trusting in what will be. Trusting the direction I'm going uh, career-wise. Trusting my friendships, my relationships, everything. Just letting it go, surrendering to what will be and just going with the flow. Life doesn't have to be a drama. Life, I learned that this year, um, life can be fulfilling and uh, flowing if you let it. And you have to let it. And to do that, you have to surrender to what will be and trust what will be. So that is my year in a nutshell. Um, and I'm pretty proud of the way that um, I've handled it. And there's still, like, there's still stuff to be worked on. There always is going to be stuff to be worked on. It's never going to be you wake up one day and you go, I've got it all figured out. I don't have to do anything else. It's a moment to moment practice. And I've always said that. And like, even now when I said, and I'm proud of myself, the little voice in my ego was saying, how up yourself are you? So <laughs> I didn't listen to it. I heard it, but I didn't listen to it. And it's those kind of things. I truly believe from the bottom of my heart that we can all feel this way that we can all feel like we belong, like the person that we are matters and that every crazy, awesome facet of our personality can be accepted. Because at the end of the day, I think all we want to find is our place in the world and where we fit in and belong. And I want that for everybody. Um, I believe we can all have it. And I kind of learnt this year that if I put in the work and I dig really deep that it, it is possible so next year is going to be amazing I'm so excited about what it'll bring I'm not trying to focus too much on you know I've got to have my little my little goals but I'm not there set in stone I have to achieve this by this date, blah, 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 because for me, I probably work a little bit better if I just have these goals in my head, slowly chip away at them, and just if anything else comes up, that's fine. But it's going to be amazing. Every year is going to be amazing. <clears throat> There's always a chance for exploration and new growth and new ideas and creativity and joy and fun and delving into the unknown. That's the exciting thing about a new year. And if you're looking to enter next year feeling those feelings, just take the step. You don't have to jump into it. You just take one little step in the right direction. And that's kind of the best thing that you can do. So from me to you, that is my year. <laughs> I rambled and rambled, but hey, that's cool. I'm fine with that. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to recap this year. And if anything, it's for me to look back on because 2013 has been monumentally big for me. And I, as I said, I'm really looking forward to what next year will bring. And I know that for you, it'll be just as amazing for you as well because you can do this you can have those feelings uh, of self-love and accepting yourself you can be healthy and well and feel good about yourself and we all belong we're all here we just need to accept who we are and be proud of who we are I will speak to you soon
have a beautiful weekend and um, I look forward to chatting before, once again, before Christmas. I just now have to enter my password then. <laughs> but I look forward to chatting you really soon. Mwah!